Hey guys, well, it's that time of year again. It's time to start thinking about your garden. Uh, snow is melting, things are unthawing, and before the last freeze gets here, a lot of your seeds need to get germinated uh, several weeks ahead of time so that you can prepare them uh, to survive once you bury them out in your garden. Uh, if you've followed my channel for a couple years now, a few years ago, what I decided to do was I had some seeds that I had bought at the end of the season. Uh, basically at the end of summer most of your seeds at your local place go on uh, a great discount and so i picked up a bunch i put them in a vacuum sealer and i put them in a five gallon bucket i think with rice or something i had well when it came time to use that rice and i found the seeds what i decided to do after the many years had passed being in that bucket i wanted to see if they were even worth anything if i could germinate them if i could plant them and that's so that's what we did two years ago um, i also have some uh, i'll find that video and stick it up there I also have a video on making a, a cheap um, a greenhouse uh, for about, I don't know, a little over 20 bucks. I think I ended up with it. So I'll find that link and stick it up there. But this video is more over another experiment. And, you know, while we have rule of law, while we have all the cessation of services, I want to know whether or not the Thrive garden seed package that you can get from Thrive um, in this can will work in my climate. My growing season and everything else is going to be different than everyone else in the country. And so, they don't really formulate you know a specific seed package for a certain growing season um you know throughout the country you've got you know southern states have a completely growing cycle than you do up, up north um so i want to just see how these things germinate i don't really have any doubt that they're they're not going to grow well but i do want to kind of experiment they're very sort of mainstream plain jane items um that are in here and we'll kind of go over the species of uh, what they pack in here but this is the garden uh, pack. It is uh, it's set up to be sealed up for three to five years, store in a cool, dry place. Now, all the seed varieties are non-hybrid, and they can be harvested from the plants to remain true to the variety. This allows for perpetual food storage. Um, now, the main reason for me knowing this is because I'm not that skilled at that. I can give it a shot, but I don't want to depend on that. So I want to have multiple cans for possibly each season. Um, of my growing season until I can learn and I can, you know, be better at my green thumb, uh, which has been, you know, slowly getting there over the last couple of years, learning to know what soil types I've got and how I need to prepare them and things like that. It's a work in progress. And right now I can afford to kind of experiment with all this. Uh, just going over the list real quick. Um, you do get some contender beans. Uh, you get a Detroit dark red, uh, cabbage, carrot, corn, cucumber, lettuce, onion, peas, peppers, radishes, spinach, summer squash, winter squash, and tomatoes. And uh, I've already gone ahead and opened this. One of the things I've included in doing, uh, other than putting the date on the when I open these, whether it's my freeze dried or not, is I've been writing what it is. Uh, there's been times where I've been cooking with multiple cans of stuff, and I've got all the lids tossed off, and next thing you know, I'm not sure if that 3-1 went with the tomatoes or did it go with the corn. So I've been writing what it is. I don't know if that helps any of you, but... Um, also included in this can, as you can see, I've already got it open, is sort of a, uh, a planting, thinning, and harvesting guide. It goes through all the beans and the seeds that are included, uh, when you should plant, how many weeks before the last frost, um, how many times outdoors, your seed spacing, depth, all the kind of stuff that you normally get uh, from your local guide. And a quick little bountiful harvest thing, basically. Pick a sunny location, don't forget to water it, fertilize it, and, uh, you know, the work you get into the garden is the work you're going to get out of it. Um, one thing we did change up, we did last year, uh, is some raised beds uh, with some drip water systems. So we're going to probably go with that and till those up. And uh, here is the Scarlet Nantes carrot. Uh, here is the Detroit dark red beets. And again, this all has, um, these are all from uh, Idaho actually. Um, here is some spinach, long spinach, there's zucchini, summer squash. Uh, there's the Rutgers uh, tomatoes. There's the uh, sweet meat winter squash, cucumber straight eight. There's the salad bowl greens, the lettuce, radishes, champion radishes, Utah sweet yellow. I've got some uh, sweet peppers. There's some cabbage, golden acre, and then the uh, the bigger ones in here are mostly the beans. So here is a green pea. Here is a contender bush bean. There is more green arrow peas, another bush bean, and I believe 
it is the corn. Yeah, the bantam corn. So this is just uh, part one. Stay tuned, and we'll see how these work.